from sightings of black-eyed children to the dogmen of Michigan and the recent flying humanoids seen over Chicago, it would seem that there are many strange and unknown creatures out there which take a human form. Some of these are commonly found in popular myth and legend. I have, however, recently found a strange humanoid which is not so commonly known, the melon head. Welcome to IF, videos to fascinate and intrigue, new content posted twice a week, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring that bell to receive notifications each time we upload a new video. Strange sightings have been occurring for the longest time and reports continue to come in to this very day. The description of this creature can vary greatly, from the old legends it is said to be a small creature that could be considered comparable to an elf or a gnome. We took a look at the possibility of gnomes in another video linked above. A more modern sighting of the melon head reported that the humanoid was larger than the normal size of around 3 to 4 feet. The witness reported that the cryptid did have the commonly described spindly limbs and oversized head. These melon heads are considered shy and when they are seen it's normally only a quick glimpse. Other stories claim them to be a ravenous vicious little beast, quickly attacking anyone who is unfortunate enough to get too near. They are regarded as aggressive feral creatures said to be nocturnal, only venturing out under the cover of darkness. Hidden by the dark they are said to terrorize or even kill and eat people who wander into their territory and even each other on occasion. With those who have disappeared in Melonhead country sometimes said to have fallen victim to the vile creatures. The Melonhead's origin is thought to be a top secret government project, the government carrying out some strange and nefarious experiment that resulted in the ballooning of the subject's head and that they then escaped and have been living on the edges of society ever since. Another story tells of a group of witches that have been hiding in the forest and the melon head is the deformed child of one of these witches and it is tasked with finding victims for the witches deadly rituals. Over the years there have been many sightings, these reports state that although this humanoid has very thin limbs it can run at speed. An article which can be found in the weird US under the title Your Travel Guide to America's Local Legends and Best Kept Secrets. A man named Tony told the tale of how he had been traveling the dark roads of Chardon, Ohio in the heart of Melonhead territory. This is when he says he drove up a dark lane and looking out of the car window saw a creature running alongside his vehicle. The vehicle Tony was in was moving at approximately 40 to 50 miles an hour and the strange beast easily kept pace, running parallel to the car. Tony commented saying, it didn't look like anything I've heard about in the stories. He said that the height of the mysterious creature was comparable to himself at around 5 foot 7. The sprinting apparition wore brown pants, these pants were very torn up. The seams of these breeches were held together with what looked like corn husks. The torso was covered by a flowing white shirt. This shirt was very dirty, being covered in brown and red stains. The head was very large and dark brown in color. The eyes bulged out and the ears had disappeared, leaving two holes in the sides of the head. The appearance of the humanoid looked like someone had attempted to inflate the cranium, like a balloon. Tony says that after getting a good look at the melon head it quickly veered off into the woods and vanished. Another sighting of the melon head, well I should say melon heads as there were multiple cryptids, seen at the same time happened in Michigan. Kelly Top Bredrosian claims she experienced her encounter when she and some friends explored the ruins of an old estate. The group claimed they spotted a strange man standing in a field. He stood out as his silhouette had a disproportionately large head. They watched this shape as it then began walking towards them. 
the group started calling out, but there was no response. They say that instead of answering, the man, or whatever it was, started to run toward them. This scared the woman. They made a mad dash for their car, jumped in and sped away. They then saw more of these strange humanoids hiding in the woods that lined the road as they made their getaway. The stories of the Melonhead have begun to spread into neighboring counties, and as the story grows, it would seem the appearance and abilities of the Melonhead change too. The strange creatures still live out in the wilderness, often haunting or hunting on remote rural roads, their numbers growing over the years. Could this be through their continued inbreeding? Or maybe this was the reason they stalked Kelly and her friends, the Melonheads looking for unwilling mothers for the next generation of these huge headed monsters. Whatever they are, stories of these bizarre entities with their oversized heads stalking the woods of Ohio have continued for years. The different versions of the story saying that they are inbred cretins running amok to government created mutants and even escaped hydrophallic patients from an insane asylum. The terrifying idea that a group of pale, vicious cannibals with huge heads stalk the dark forest, killing animals and humans, could be pure urban legend. Yet the reported sightings have not stopped. Could these melon heads be real? If they are real, what are they and where did they come from? Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button and maybe help the channel out with a subscribe. Catch us on social media by searching We Are If. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.